Yeah, so in this video or in the next two or three videos, um, let's take care about some UV layouts that we have to do. Um, so let me turn off the knobs, the rubber boats, let me turn off lots of stuff here. So yeah, we focus on the two rings here. So first of all, we take that one or this one. So let me go to the uh, low poly ver version here. So I select the uh, outer ring and I will do the UV layout in a tool that's called headers UV layout. Um, yeah, if you type in uvlayout.com, um, yeah, you will uh, go to that, you will find that website. Um, that's actually not for free, but um, I think there is a trial version that you could use. But um, yeah, if you're um, familiar with the UV layout here in Maya, you could do this in Maya as well. But I, to me, it's uh, easier to uh, export this object, and that's what I'm going to do now. So with that object selected, I go here to File and say Export Selection. Let me go to the Options box. OBJ, Export, OK say so export selection and I put it here in under my projects folder under the data folder and I call this outer ring outer ring uh, outer ring <laughs> like that and then I'm going into uh, headers here so I've already loaded that up um, so this if you have that tool and you don't know how to use that um, just click here on display and then there opens up a tab. So you have the editor uh, display and the UV uh, display. So all you need to do is to go to load and then uh, head to your um, to your uh, projects folder. So I have to search for mine here, Maya projects, and then Rolex Watch Daytona. And then I saved it out under the data. And then I see it here, the outer ring OBJ load it up yeah and that's uh, the uh, interface or the the viewport of UV layout here of headers and um, I've got the uh, up uh, axis and Y here and that's exactly like it is in Maya so if I uh, only click here and, and rotate uh, it's working almost the same as you're using Maya and now I want to cut this into yeah at least two pieces here um, so let me zoom in on that object here and I want to cut it uh, yeah, from this edge here or so it's hard to see from this edge here so if you want to select an edge ring here go up here to uh, say edge extend put it to 10 here if it's not and we could say uh, auto fit and then over, if you hover over that edge, you can't select it here. Uh, you have to hover over it and then hit uh, C. Yeah, and if you hover over an edge and hit C, it tries to select an edge loop here. And that's what it did right now. So there's one edge loop selected, as you can see. And now we uh, will do the same here on this edge. So hover over that edge and hit C. And let's check out if, it, if the edge loop is going all around. Sometimes head is... Uh, Yes, doing some weird stuff here, but this time it worked out. So we have the this uh, the two edge loops here uh, selected, and now let's hit um, enter. Uh, so you ha you hover over um, a piece and hit enter, and then it uh, disconnects the two pieces. So now to lay this out, um, when you hover over um, over this the first object or the the object that we want to hit a D. And then it is going to the UV part of headers. So if you want to see this now, you have to switch here under um, the, the options here to go to UV. And now um, what you could do um, is hit Shift, uh, Shift S. Oops, why is that not working? OK, let me undo that. Yeah, you have to hover over that um, piece of geometry and then hit shift F and then it's try to yeah lay those out uh, until you um, like it uh, is uh, standing up here uh, until you uh, hold down space so n I, th I see right now this is not really 
doing anything anymore. So now if I hold space to release that boundary, it's, uh, yeah, again, automatically bring all those UVs into the right uh, shape. And until um, the point uh, right now where, where nothing happens anymore, um, yeah, you can hit space again and then you're done with the UV layout. And it's perfectly uh, laid out. And that's the cool thing about that. So now we have uh, the other p the other part here. So let's uh, go here uh, to view and go to editor and then hover over that object, hit D. Um, and then it's uh, uh, in that UV uh, layout here. So click on that and zoom out. And if you hover over this object here and hit shift F and wait a second. So it's calculating here. And then uh, um, just uh, type on a spacebar again, and then it's uh, calculating again, and we let it calculate until yeah some colors and uh, nothing happens anymore. And then hit space again, and you're done. So and if you want to move this, um, you can uh, hold down spacebar and then middle mouse, and you can drag it, and it's it's automatically. Um, bring in this uh, UV map all together and shape here. Okay, so with that done, let's export, uh, let's um, save that object here, go to save, and then say, okay, we want to name this outer ring underscore UV, UV, like that, and save it. And there it is. So now we can, uh, if we want to, we can uh, close that here. Yeah, so exit, yeah. And now, um, yeah, we delete our original one here. Just delete that. Or hit uh, delete on your keyboard, and then go to File, Import, and then go t to your data or wherever you put that to your data folder. And uh, I called mine here Outer Ring UV, and import that. And there it is. So yeah, it's looking the same. But if I check out the UVs here under uh, the UV Texture Editor, um, let me get that window a little bit smaller so that you can see what's going on. Okay, so yeah, you see the same UV layout that we just created in Hedis. And now we can go in here and um, um, tweak tweak that UV layout um, as long as we want. Okay, so yeah, that's, um, that's a cool, uh, pretty neat tool. Um, and we are doing the the UV layout for the inner ring as well with the uh, headers. So let me close the texture editor. Uh, so you get the idea. Um, and yeah, we already have uh, eight minutes something here done. So yeah, let me pause this video and we will uh, take care about the UV layout, uh, layout about uh, this guy. And from the wristband here, we have to do a UV layout for one for this part here, and then we copy the the attributes over to the other parts. So all right, we have some UV uh, work here to do left. So let me pause the video and uh, see you in the next one.